Hey guys, Absolutely Alphas, we're back with another review. Hip hop in the house. Yeah, there we go. And we're here with <laughs> and Trina. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow, notification, share. We thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your support. And today we are going to be reviewing, it's kind of like two different yeah. albums we're, we're reviewing. Deliver two reactions. We've got Ed Sheeran, yes. No Six, Number Six collaboration. It's a compilation album. It's like Ed Sheeran. And you guys, like if you don't know, Ed Sheeran is like, I don't think he's British, but he is uh, definitely an English student. I went to school. It's a white guy, red hair. He's pretty talented. He's been on some really nice albums. I, I think the name of the album really is, nice tracks, is, I mean. is funny. The, the number six collaboration number six. project, like it's, it's so literal. Like you probably have five on it. So we got. <laughs> I understand that it's still, a, it's still a funny title. And and then um and then we got uh Lil Duke with uh, we have Lil Duke with uh, Blue Double, Double Two. two. So that lets you know there was a Blue Double One. <laughs> so uh again, we thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna go get right into the nitty gritty with this uh little yeah, no, yeah what should you got playing right now get, so so right now we we have uh at cheer plan and the song is beautiful people featuring college what's your favorite song on that my favorite song would have to be hold up wait a minute i wrote it down it's, oh it's over there hold up you know, I'm you just go Travis Scott and uh, anti-social. Oh, okay. Anti-social, anti-social with Travis Scott is my favorite track on this album. Um, just because of the name. There's a really popular Fuck track. You. Yeah, I know. There's a really popular track with Fifty Cent and Eminem on here. Yeah. But I, I I like it, but I don't like it as much as anti-social. Do you like that? You, you know what? Definitely, anti-social was a pickup point of the album. Mm -hmm, I'll mm -hmm. say that, and then, and then, like, I think right following that is the Eminem and Infinity track. Um, I'm gonna play that. See if you guys can. Yeah. Let us know what you guys remember the name. Do you, what's your yeah. favorite on the album? Um, remember the name? I, I I just remember like around that section of the album. Mm. Were like you know some some funky tunes you know that that okay, picked, funky up, picked up around that point. Um, there and then there were a few tracks in there that like you know I don't um, particularly I, care for. I, 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 I was just falling asleep you know during some parts of mm -hmm. the album basically. It's um, basically an R and B album yeah, with like with like a lot of heavy in hip hop influence and, scattered throughout. But and even is, with the hip hop features, it's still like. And everyone, I think everyone on there is like a crossover type of artist. So like, you got Skrillex on there. When it, for example, he he did um he did crossover with um with the Marley brother, Damian Marley, I think is, mm -hmm. his, is his name. Damian. Damian mm -hmm. Marley, yeah. Mm -hmm. So him and Skrillex did you know some, some work together. Um, you got Ella Mai. She's on like she sings a lot of, on a lot of hip hop projects. Feeling so, so um, deep in it's, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's definitely That's, a crossover you know, overall type of. Album. Like, and uh, Ed Sheeran, I believe, is also the, the guitarist in his um, own music. Ed Sheeran is an English singer, songwriter, guitarist, and record producer. Yeah. And he's an actor. He has a pretty extensive resume, so it, it, it's a it's a good listen. You know, it's something you would definitely listen to with your significant other. For sure, and uh, I would say, right? For for me, yeah, absolutely, and best known for. Uh, I see fire off the Hobbit. That that's really how I got inter introduced to uh, Ed Sheeran. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do my fun facts I about. See fire. <laughs> and, that, and that's me burning up. Like. Oh, shout out to the Oreos out here too. In case y'all ain't even know what was happening out here, Oreos. Yeah, there's a fresh. Uh, yeah, tank top right I thought now. it was fresh too. Uh, so all right, little dude, blue devil two. That's what we're reviewing now. And uh, he's formerly known as MPA Duke, YSL Duke, or just Duke by itself. He's apparently a member of the hip hop collective Bankroll Media. Okay. Uh, they released their debut album in 2016. You can look that up. He's from Atlanta. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. Little Duke. And uh, he's been featured on projects with Gucci Man, Young Thug, uh, YSL is a label that he's under, and YSL is uh, Young Stoner, what is it, Young Stoner? Yo, YSL? YSL, what is it, Young Stoner's Life? life? <laughs> yeah, Young Stoner Life. So he's on the, 
Young Thugs label basically is what yeah. I'm trying to say. On this album, there are several producers. You got B-Rex, C4 Bombs, C2 on the Beat, Ghost Rage, G-Money, Goose, Isaac Flame, and a, and a few others. Writers on the album, uh, G-Money, Gunna, of course, Lil Deuce, Lil Dirt, Lil Key, Lil Yachty, Steezy, Trap Boy, Freddy, uh, Young Jordan, and Young Thug. And that makes sense. I like when I see that it's just uh, the features and the artists that are writers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I have a thing about people rapping stuff that someone else wrote, wrote for them. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. Like, it's different in R&B to me, but with, in rap, it's like, I don't know. It's different it, to me. Like, it's, yeah. Right. One of the main metrics uh, in value in hip hop is your is your lyrical right. demonstration. So I mean, right. it's, it's not really yours if you didn't write it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get through my review real quick. There were 20 tracks on the album. Uh, I think 18. There is also. Oh, I think it's 20. Oh, it's funny. My phone's about to die. You had me like open so, some shit. Just trying to there is a thing that I discovered when I was doing my research for this little Duke because this is our first time reviewing him. And I saw a website that was called HIP Wiki, like Hip Wiki. So on Hip Wiki, Hip Wiki when he popped up, it said that he was straight up a rapper and a gang member. Um, from it says he's from Chicago, member right. of the GBG, yeah, gotta go first. gangsters, right? And it said right. And then when I researched something else, it said he was from Atlanta. But he could have moved and yeah, he, 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 he Chicago. All, he repping all that shit, right? <laughs> so he's a member. It says he's a member of the GBG, gotta go gangsters, uh, also known as Day Day, and Day Day is named after him, uh, a, a person that got shot in 2012 that okay. was in the gang. He was a member of the gang. Um, and he's also a member of Gangster Disciples. That's the thing, too. Wow. So, um, the site also had, like, the nemesis of the gang that he was in, like, ne like people they meet with. <laughs> like, in the hierarchy. I'm like, who's making this website? Who's making this? That's not Gangster who's ever making this website. But anyway, I thought that was interesting when I went to research him. So moving on, uh, like I said, he signed a Young Stoner Life with Young Thugs label, and he also has seven releases that he's also done under that label. So I'm gonna do a, a real quick bang bang shoot 'em up <laughs> review. The first song that I'm gonna be reviewing is I'm doing the first half. He's on the second half. Uh, cover art, real quick, catchy. It's a tatted demon. Uh, He's drinking scissor up, I guess, out of a double cup with a blunt. It's really? animated. It's blue. It's it's catchy. It's catchy. Mm -hmm. And you know, most albums that are trash are catchy. Have catchy covers. Um, have catchy covers. Uh, yeah, I have a, uh, another comment on that. Absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, like, well, okay. I I meant to say, you know, I'm, I'm, a long time ago. I haven't done it yet, unfortunately. But I, mm -hmm. I've been meaning to add revisions to the notes of our reviews. You because revisions, like revisions, yeah, like you know, like my after rating. Sometimes I was a half a point off of what I, you know, okay. my final decision. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I made on the show was our um, 2018 year review with the top five or the, or the bottom five like trash albums of the year of 2018. Because two of them definitely should have been uh, Future and Juice World and uh, and Trippy Wet Red. Trippy Red. Trippy Red. Okay. Uh, definitely, they, they should have been down there. Uh, and I, so I, I probably. Mistakenly put um, uh, city, city girls. No, Kanye West was one of the one about the top. Yes, I <laughs> probably mistakenly put city city girls in E40. Point I'm making is Trippy Red. His album was pure trash. It was like a two or three out of ten. But that the the cover art was like amazing. Like that's what it, I'm saying. Like, about the cover, cover art, art was like the cover art. I was like, wow. Like he's, is usually very is. creative for like trash albums. Yeah, <laughs> it seems it seems that way. <laughs> to be a trend. <laughs> it's a trend. I noticed since I was uh, <clears throat> first listening to hip hop back in the early in the, in, in the 90s. Yes. I've been rich since the nineties. Every day I blow up. Okay, so Sorry. first track I'm gonna talk about is called "Believe in Me." That's the opening track. Uh, it's an intro. He's talking to all his haters. He has a, he's a seed and. He's going to grow and the world is calling them ops. He's like the world. And part of the course is like the world calling them ops. Something, something. 
I'm like, no, the world, no, that's yeah. just some hood shit. No, <laughs> the entire world don't say ops about haters. That's just some. Like, the whole like, world, actually, like the, the whole world against y'all ops though. It's inaccurate. Like, yo, you my op, the whole world against you, yo. It's completely inaccurate. <laughs> So, uh, he's basically saying people doubted him and now he has the freedom to do what he wants to do. So, the beat is decent for the intro. It's nothing I would write home about. Didn't really like, I didn't really like any of the beats. I'm going to just say that right now. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, they all sounded very similar. Every, like, every, okay. Let me just finish my review. Um, next track, Too Many. It's a brag track, and on the beat, and on the lyrics. Again, a brag track. Next one. <laughs> it ain't safe. Yeah, that's that how to make you laugh too, yo. <laughs> niggas, it ain't safe. First of all, niggas, it ain't safe. Here. That's the name of the I need you to understand that. Another brag track. Really not saying much. <laughs> He'll take your girl. He's been saying that. And you know, fill the safe up and, and get some money. That's all this track is about. Uh, to the Moon featuring Young Thug. Oh, Young Thug. Mm -hmm. Oh, impressive. No, trash track. Uh, the beat was whack. Another brag track focuses on females. Uh, one part that I thought was interesting that they made a part of the chorus. He was like saying he put his fingers in a female and she said that the rings were cold. <laughs> Hold up, what did I say? Yeah, the rings were cold. Yeah, yeah. It's like part I, of the course. I, I remember that part, yeah. It stands out. That part stands out, and it's a little creative, but uh, it's still trash. I need you to trash not trash. put your real diamonds in the bitch, though. Yeah, please. I mean, no. It could, it could, <laughs> he could have put a lean of fool in there. It probably would have been cold. <laughs> anyway. Then, then you would have cut the bitch. Maybe that's what she likes. I don't know. She, yeah, you see, they, they like to be spinning on the court to him, too. So they probably okay, like, next track, Rose. Yeah. Featuring Young Jordan, and you know, let's talk about this whole Young thing. Everybody <laughs> has Everybody Young is 12. in front of their as a part of their moniker. And little, Young and little. So I did some research on that, and I said, "Why is this a fucking thing?" Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all the lulls, L I L, and I'm sick of all the. Youngs, Y O U N G, Y U N G. I'm sick of it. So when I re when the research that I did, the summary to summarize it, basically, it's more marketable. Okay. It's more marketable to mm -hmm. certain genres. Gotcha. Uh, to be specific. So anyway, all right. That's all I wanted to say about that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Rose, trash. I didn't like it. <laughs> Next track, yeah. but like a boat. It, it. Yeah. No. No. Next track, Wet Like a Boat, uh, featuring Lil' Keith and Lil' Yachty. Didn't think it was a good track either. Um, I did, the only line that I enjoyed was that he said he had so many hoes that were overseas. Got a bitch named Alicia that played with them keys. Probably the best line. And that, that's not even a great line. Um, next track, Look in My Eyes. Uh, Talking about the pain, he opens up a little bit, it's a little bit personal. So I'm not gonna say anything bad about that. The next one is Petty featuring Gunna. And another disappointing beat. The beat was not something that I enjoyed. And these beats are just trash. I think they need a better producer for their beats, I think. I don't know. Um it's like no thought was put into it, you know, the same brag theme and that's it. And I will watch the table. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you guys. Uh, Fatigue is next, featuring Trap Boy Freddy. Now, Trap Boy Freddy, he did the intro on here, uh, the first verse, and I thought he was decent. I yeah. thought Trap Boy Freddy was decent. Yeah. I like him better than I like Little V, actually. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, so, next one, Out the Seal. Boo. Nothing to is say about boo? that. Yeah, boo? just nothing. Look, nothing. It was a trash song. Uh, next one, I give. That was the last track. Uh, of the seal. Was it the last track? Yeah, right. that's all you got on there. Yeah. Um. Well, I can look at the track list. It's sure, but you're probably right. But I give this. Yeah, just check real quick. I give I this you. album a three. Uh, no real favorite track. If uh, I had to pick, to me, it all. 
Yeah. Everything sounded the same. The way that he ra raps on every track sounded exactly the same to me. And if I had to choose, I would say Head on My Shoulders has a mm. little bit of concept. Yeah, um, yeah there really is no concept. Yeah, there's really no concept. But that, that if I had to really, if somebody said, put a gun to my head, then you would have figured it out. I would say that. <laughs> Are you make a decision. Gotta make choices. I was, I was that, you had yeah. to make choices out here, yo. Gotcha. So, um, you know what? That that was uh, I, 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 and there was actually like you know some suspense and like a punchline to your to your review. That was a good you review. Because yeah, I mean, because I really I expected your your rating to be lower after all that shit you talk. After lower but, than but, three? Yeah, but um, but like I give it a negative <laughs> seventy-seven. How you doing now? <laughs> that's that's what I thought you were gonna say. So, but um, no, but so that, that but that was actually fair, and um, I, you know what? That's what's up. That's what's up. So um, good and bad. So overall synopsis, uh, there, there is no concept about the album to me at all. None. Um, there's no concept whatsoever, and um, I I think most of the beats aren't memorable. I mean, the, the beats are kind of snorry, and um, you said snorry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, and then you know that's not a good look when there's no concept and right. uh, and not a lot. Of a strong execution, um, but right. but but there there is some good execution on the album. Uh, to, to be fair, um, Lil Duke to me puts me in mind of um, of Travis Scott. He can rap. He, he he can rap good or rap well, but he doesn't. He just doesn't do it most of the time. That's all it is. Mm, I just think he, he a trash rapper. Yeah, though. yeah. I mean, he 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 has. He I has, didn't see any like good rap. He um. Where I was like, oh okay. He 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 has the ability. You okay. He has the ability to, at, on occasion to come with back to punch and eyes back to back. He he can he okay. has he has that capability. He doesn't do it often. Gotcha. He doesn't do it often. But where so, did you see? Where did you realize? What track made you realize that he had that capability? Um. So um, I, I do have some um. I had a, one example that I be I had committed to memory, but I didn't write it down, and maybe it'll come to me. But um. Okay, overall synopsis though, I mean, I, I'll, I, but I will get to some examples, or, okay. or at least a track where I believe he executed well. Okay. okay. Um, so, he has the entire legion of, like, mumble rappers uh, featuring here. Yeah, um, so, like, so, like, yeah. and it, it really, it, it puts me in it mind, is. it puts me in mind of the um, Slam Language Young Dud album that we reviewed. It puts me in mind of that because it does. Because I mean, it was like everyone, like it was like a blur of like everyone sounding like. And, and we reviewed that too. We, and, yeah, we reviewed I, the YSL I, album yeah, before, but, so. But, but Lil, Lil Duke, to be fair, is a better rapper than Young Thug. Um, Everybody's and, a better rapper than Young Thug. Yeah, but uh, it's like, it, but it's the memory is like the, both these albums had like a this a lot of non-memorable beats and maybe like a, right. a, a maybe a few beats sounded good. Right. Um, Rose's was, was one of my favorite beats, though. I was surprised you didn't like yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like a lot of songs called. I feel Rose like you just like because the, the name of it is Rose. The, no, the beat. Play, play Rose, please. Play. Okay. Um, okay, bossy. So, and then some of the features have good verses. So I mean, uh, I, you mentioned Trap Boy Freddie. He had a decent verse. Right. Lil Durk. Um, Lil Durk is usually pretty decent in his verses in general. Mm -hmm. Um. Then I mean, Lil Duke has repetitive lines that it seems like he's used he's using multiple times throughout different tracks, like you know what I mean, how how she your girl, she's sending me nudes, or you know what I mean, I ain't no rookie, I'm a veteran. Like it's it's like it's different. It's multiple tracks me saying these repetitive lines, like for what though? It's like okay, like you need to write some new shit. Yeah, shut up. First so, of um, all, shut up. Yeah, um, out the seal was actually on my list, so, and, and it, it was a dead. I fuck with that. I fuck I with that do, beat. I do like it. I do like it. The beat, the, that, that beat, though. So, you know, I, 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 I ain't even call it what it is. You know what I mean? And um, and even even uh, wet like a boat. You know, after that, was thump, thumping too. So out the still wasn't my list. I mean, but all I really have on that was like it had a dope piano loop on it, and and, yeah. the, and the bass was thumping on um out the, out the still. So obviously, I like that beat as well. Um, Prodigy is still thumping here. Um, it's bass with like this wavy undertone instrumental. In the background, and this is the, the track that Lil Durk is featured on, whom I said it, it, you know, delivered a decent verse in the album as well. Um, the one, uh, okay, so the, the one would be one of the examples. There, there were a couple examples earlier, but the one, and particularly the second verse of Lil Duke, is a good example of where I think he executes well. 
um, if if you're on fucking genius following along because you know if you're not I, I don't think unless you on serve like I don't think you can understand what these niggas saying for real unless you on what on serve unless you on the same drugs these niggas is on oh like man. unless you on lean and yeah and his whole album cover you know, is a alien on animated drugs? drug baby <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, yeah, so yeah, they're getting but like on the on, but reading his second verse and following on, I'm like, okay, I mean, he can spit when he wants to, um, but for the most part, the most I mean, he's not doing that, it is what it is. Um, feel my pain, um, I heard some of okay, and here, here's another thing about the beats, I heard some other beats in the album, like this one, too, where the the, the instrumental would just thump on his own. I, I know I say that sometimes mm-hmm. about artists and their and their tracks. Mm-hmm. Like without the flow and and the fact that like the, you know the delivery is, is so trash as well, it's like the beat you can just buy the beat out here at least. You know, if I I, I, I could hear that at least in this beat. Um, Wishy Washy has like an echo effect in his beat, and I, I'm I'm kind of biased for. Wishy Washy, I kind of yeah. I kind of yeah. I'm I'm kind of like Wishy Washy, but I'm biased towards the. I was echo. like Wishy Washy about it. I'm I'm biased towards the echoey sound. Uh, when I hear that, yeah. So um, then we got now. She mine is funny because okay, you got she mine and you got I'm there. These are bad to bad tracks. And then like she mine is like if you would think it would be like a chick track. I guess it sounds like he spent most of his time talking about gang banging and like thugging and shit. And then like the song after that, gang banging is here. Nah, that, I mean, he, he talks about her in the chorus, but I mean, other than that, he just talking that reckless shit. And then after that, he got I'm There. And that, that song's a lot more soft. He just need a coach. He need a coach. Oh, I'm, I'm There is a lot more soft. Like, I'm There is like the chat that she mine should have been. Right after that. It. Like, the beat, it. the beat is way, is way more soft when I'm There. And then, like, um, what's his name? It's featuring um, Ste- Steezy. 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 He yeah. sings a whole first verse for the bitches. You know what I mean, and it's it's it's. I mean, it just sounds like there there was like a, a, a miss shift in the tracks, like one down, like you know, like or one up or something. Like you know, they just like switched the names or some shit, and it was a wrong track. That's interesting. Like this should have been she mine, is what I'm saying. Um, I, I didn't name every. I can see that. So all all I have is just like not even notes on like tracks that I like necessarily. Just 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 um. No tra- general tracks that I have you know notes on or things that I noticed I picked up okay. on. Um, there were some I skipped that just weren't even worth mentioning. Um, I didn't name all the tracks in my second half. Um, overall, I had four out of ten. Yep, you, um, didn't, you didn't say nothing about Reckless. Yeah, it, it was a, just a trash song. Um, so, um, yeah, trash I mean, it, 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 it is what it is. But I mean, better better than um, Slime Language. Uh, Lil Duke is better than Young Thug. He's the next generation in the, in the label. So hopefully they continue to evolve and uh, get better. Um, and I, I mean, like I said, I think Lil Duke can do it. I think he can, like, if he's more consistent with his... He has potential. If, he, if he's more consistent with his punch bars, I think he can deliver better quality. You, should, you know what you should do? You know what we should do? Coach his ass. We should be coaches. <laughs> we, could, we could, like, sell that shit. Yo, we should. We should. Look, <laughs> I can coach, I can coach nigga, you nigga, a nigga, better rap. Niggas ain't gonna care. Imagine I know what you want to hear. I know what people want to hear. <laughs> and you're not it right now. Like, <laughs> you know what? It's funny because he does like I, you. You go on Spotify. He has a hella catalog. He has like seven albums. I don't know. He has like I a lot of albums. I mentioned that earlier. Seven. And he only got like a hundred thousand listeners. You know what I mean? So that 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 kind of does say something. So shout but, out to Blue Devil too. Uh, <laughs> that's it for that's it for him. Cause I'm disappointed, and I feel like I wasted forty five minutes of my life. It's longer than that shit. Probably more. I did a lot of research. Uh, <laughs> yo, 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 you did a lot. Yes, yeah, okay. yeah with, with her research, she probably wasted an hour and a half on this nigga. But you guys, absolutely alphas. And Thank sharing you. again. Comment your rating, please. Comment, share, like, I subscribe, well. notify. I mean, not notify, but hit the notification button. Again, we're on Patreon. We're going to start doing, after this, actually, we're going to do an exclusive Patreon. Uh, Review okay. that you guys will have access to if you join Patreon. Super exclusive. So uh, we love you guys and we thank you so much again. Absolutely, Alphas, Tone, and Trina, we're out. Thank you. Have a wonderful week, guys. Love you guys.
never been a sucker, nigga. I can't hate ya. Rather scream, fuck a nigga. If it ain't about the green, what we about to do then? I'm headed to the club, bunch of 30s in my crew then. Trying to get my shine on, make us spill a wine on. She dancing cause my lines on. Pull up, let her grind on. These ball mains and diamonds. She whispered that I'm fine on. Can I?